I'm uh, Mike Logan. This is my dog, Charlotte. Um, we're going to be doing a program called Mountain Fit. Uh, the name was given to this program by my wife. And uh, it's a compilation of what I've done over the course of several years to get myself back in shape. Uh, it's a combination of good old fashioned uh, PE or phys ed or gym, depending on what part of the country you're from, and uh, some martial arts and some boxing. Uh, it's just really about getting fit with a minimal amount of tools and not a lot of hoopla. Let me tell you where I started from uh, and kind of what I've been through, and then we'll get right into the workout. This will take us approximately uh, a total of about 35 or 40 minutes. I've got a little bit of uh, music in the background for when I'm actually working and not talking. I'll try to explain each one of the movements as best I can and what I've learned about them and how it's helped me. First of all, a little bit about me. I'm 69 years old uh, as of May 23rd this year. I, uh, I'm a bivocational pastor. I work uh, also as a chief operating officer uh, through my uh, through my own business as a consulting chief operating officer for engineering companies, uh, one, a couple of tech companies I'm particularly interested in. And uh, I spent uh, a lot of the last two years going through colon cancer. And while I was going through colon cancer, I made a determination, number one, to trust God for my healing uh, and to go through the regimen that the doctors were prescribing. Uh, and while I was going through that, I ate as healthy as I could. I took a, a complete set of supplements and I worked out. I worked out on average about three times a week. Walked every day, tried to get about a mile or so in every day and then at least three of these workouts a week. So that's what you're committing to. About an hour and a half a week, three times a week once. Every time is gonna be about 35 minutes. I could be a little bit off. Uh, and it depends on how many repetitions you do. So I'm going to go through this with you. Uh, and <clears throat> I would love if you ever have, if you're very, ever interested and you'd like to know more. I, I did start out on this journey of getting back in shape. I was, uh, I was uh, in high school football wrestling and also college wrestling. Uh, and did a little bit of freestyle rock climbing in my 20s, but I turned into a couch potato. And at my heaviest, I weighed 375 pounds, um, and I ate about a pint of Blue Bell a day. Uh, and uh, I, I have a different eating style, a different lifestyle now. Uh, so I'm gonna get right into this. And if you ever wanna know more about, uh, uh, about the Jesus that I love and, uh, and what that means to me on a broader spectrum, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll put my email below, but this is about workout. Uh, and uh, let's get started. So I try to do the, the, uh, the, my least favorite exercises first. So we're gonna start out with push-ups. Uh, I'm gonna do modified push-up from the knees instead of full, because I'm, I'm not really not quite there. Uh, and it's an evolution, all of us. And then I'm gonna do 60 seconds of plank. So just listen to the music and watch me as I'm doing my workout. Excuse me, Charlotte. Excuse me. Stretch out as far as I can, get my hands about shoulder width apart. Do about ten or so, whatever you're comfortable with, and then uh, I turn. And then planks, yes I know, and then planks, I usually try to anchor my feet against something so it's a little bit easier, so I've got this little porch rail here, and I try to do this for 60 seconds, keep my shoulders up above my hips, Thank 
Okay. I wasn't counting, but if you were, I think that was close to 30. On my regular workout days, I try to do 60 seconds of plank. And sometimes I hold my breath. Okay. The next is neck stretches. Um, I'm sure some of you have been to chiropractors. Uh, let me kind of give you a little instruction here. You want to stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. If you're familiar with martial arts, you're kind of in a, an iron horse stance. Your body's vertical. Your shoulders are back. All right, so put your hands up on your chest. Then we're going to just do 10 repetitions of up and down. Back up as far as you can and down. just side to side just over, as far as you can over your shoulders 10 repetitions gently just kind of push to the limit don't go any further if it starts hurting stop but try as you go on this on a day-to-day -day basis or every time you do your workout stretch a little bit further You'll be surprised and again try and do 10 repetitions I'm not counting. All right, so now what I want you to do is uh, I'm staring at my camera, which is the monitor. I mean, my computer, which is the monitor instead of the camera. So, what you want to do now, again, keep your stance. Kind of, you're kind of halfway sitting back on your on your butt, kind of leaning, um, almost sort of like a parade rest stance if you've been in the military. Uh, so again, your hands right here on your chest. You're going to put try and put your, your ear up to the sky. One, each side, just side to side. Put, put the ear up. You're not trying to touch your, your ear to your shoulder on the opposite side. You're trying to lift your ear up. Again, 10 repetitions of that. And then this last one, again, it's, this is kind of weird and you'll, you'll know when you're doing it right. What you're trying to do is put your neck all the way forward, like you're sliding forward. It'll take a few times to get it, but again, about 10 times. And that's the neck exercises. Now next, what we're trying to do is stretch out our torso. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Go down as far as you can. See if you can touch the ground and then put your hands and palms down and then up, stretch and down. Try and do them a little bit slowly. Don't hurry yourself so you don't pull any muscles unnecessarily. What we're trying to do is build balance and core strength and flexibility and things that if we don't use our bodies on a regular basis tend to go away. All right, so I have some weights and uh, I'm gonna use those. If you have an opportunity, these are very inexpensive. Uh, and again, just try and do about 10 repetitions uh, or more as you feel comfortable. And just, you're just curling bringing it up slowly, letting it down slowly on each side. And whenever you feel like you have to cheat, which is use your body or whatever to try and pull the arm up, don't do it. You're, your weights are too high or you've reached the limit of your repetitions for the day. Hold tightly onto the handle and let your bicep do the work. Try and do about 10 repetitions. All right. Now, 
Um, people had different versions of this in, in high school, I'm sure. Uh, uh, they had different names for it, picking strawberries, all kinds of stuff. But you're, you're a little bit more than shoulder width apart. All right, kind of watch your stance, relax into your stance a little bit. And then down. One, two, three, four. Up to the opposite side. Again, you want to try and do 10 of these. Don't do jerky motions, just nice, smooth, slow stretching motions. All right. I'm going to try and do 10 of those. So you do about 10 of those. Then I have another dumbbell. I'm doing what are tricep extensions. So I'm holding it in both hands. I put it up back over my head and I'm pushing it up straight. So I'm working the back of my muscle, back of my arm muscle. Just push it straight up. Watch your posture. God, I think this is a 20 pound weight and the hand weights I had were 10 pounds so you don't need a lot of weight you're working for repetitions so that's about 10 and uh, finally I do kind of this is all warm up for the real extension of the martial arts type by the way when I say martial arts arts and the only one I bow to is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's, this isn't about some entity or deity or, or meditation form. This is just exercise. It's just exercise. So I want you to try and get as much stretch out of this. If you're meditating, meditate on the Word of God. I usually have some uh, music going on. These are classic hymns some of you probably recognize so this is these aren't really sit-ups these are more like crunches and if you're like me and you need a little help getting up and down that's okay I'm gonna do this safely don't hurt yourself and then I just put this kind of under my under my legs so it's forcing my torso to do the work my stomach muscles and I lay back all the way just Take a deep breath, stretch your arms out to both sides, and then bring your right elbow up to your left knee, almost. You want to get up at least in position, like this. Count to five. And then release. Opposite side. You want to try and do about 10 of these. These are good warm-up. They're great for your abs. Um, you'll notice that it helps your core strength tremendously. It's not a complete setup, but you're working all the right muscles. And you're using some isometrics at the same time with your body weight as the resistance. Again, up, count to five. You may be a fast counter. What do they revive? Or slow. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever floats your boat. All right. You guys see how to do that? These balls are a couple bucks at the dollar store or at your local sporting goods store. All right, so we're gonna move into these adjusted forms that I've done from, that have four parts of Tai Chi and other martial arts that I've looked at over the years and studied. 
and participated in. Not so much until I really decided I wanted to get in shape. I took uh, Okinawan Karate when I was in my 20s. I wasn't disciplined enough and uh, didn't stay with it. Uh, but I learned from a ninth degree who, again, was focused on the self-defense. Uh, and I know there are some of the oriental uh, martial arts and meditation forms that focus on deities and emptiness of self. This isn't about that. This is about your, your body. It's about core strength, balance, range of motion. All right, so here we go. This is the first one. Put your hands up about chest high. And then you kind of sweep out from that martial arts stance. Plant your foot and then stretch as far as you can. And take your body and go back. Watch what I'm doing. See, I'm shifting my weight. And then you repeat it 10 times. Take a deep breath. Push out. I know you all may get a little bored because this goes slow, but it's good for you. Take your time. Now I'm suggesting you do 10 of those for the sake of the length of the video. I may or may not do 10. But you'll stretch all your muscles. You're working your shoulders. You're stretching out as far as you can. I want you to look at what I'm doing on, with my lower part of my body. I'm putting my knee directly over my toe. Don't go to the right or the left, you'll hurt your knee. Go directly over your toe. Stretch out as far as you can. Come back, put that weight on your back foot, your right foot in this case. All right, then you come back in. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. So when you're ready, just kind of Relax your body, get your shoulders straight, straighten up. All right, here we go. Knee right over the toe, all the way out, just like you're swimming. Take deep breaths. Breathing is good practice. It's good practice. Breathe out, breathe in. Do it purposefully. Stretch all the way out. You can do modifications because I do that all the time. Like I found out when I stretch my hands out like that and go like this, I feel it in different muscles. I feel it in different ways. So you can do that. All right, here you go. All right, that's what that looks like. Let me go one more time. Watch what I'm doing. I'm putting that weight on my left foot. I'm going over my right knee, over my right toe, out and back. All right, okay, so those were horizontal circles we were doing. You can feel it in your shoulders, in your neck, and in your back. All right, so now we're gonna do some vertical circles. Now, uh, this, those work your shoulders. It, it makes that joint work in all the ways. Now, I'll say this. If you have injuries, or, or if you're just, your muscles and your, your bones and all of that stuff isn't working to the extent that I'm doing it, do what you can. If all you can do is this, that's okay. If all you can do is this, that's okay. But as you, as you become stronger, as your body becomes more flexible, stretch and do as much as you can. So what I'm doing, you may not be able to do completely, but do what you can. Uh, it's like uh, Tracy was telling one of the ladies at our church today, and. What, what the Lord asked Moses, what's in your hand? Do what you can. So here we go. Hands about head length apart. Uh, this is our kitty, who also likes to have attention. All right, so we're doing the same thing with our lower body. Now watch. Up as far as you can, out. Keep your torso vertical. Back, you're doing the same thing with the bottom part of your body you were in the last motions. Up as far as you can and out. Again, keep your torso vertical. Breathe in, out. If you want to repeat this 10 times if you can. 
and for the sake of the video I'm going to abbreviate it just a little bit. Alright, so we want to do the opposite side again. Watch your stance. Your hands are about as far apart as the width of your head. Some people have fatter heads than others. Just saying. Alright, here we go. Alright, so out in position. Up and out. Don't worry about doing it perfectly every time. Up and out. Up and out. Alright. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And just fall into the rhythm of it. Nice and comfortable. Your body begins to anticipate the moves. All right. All right. So this one, this next one, I want you to kind of help, help, help yourself by using your imagination. So imagine you're, you're standing. Now this one, you're, you're moving side to side, but you still put your knee over your toe. See how I'm doing that? All right. Now what you're going to be doing is imagine you're pushing a wall of water all the way to the side and then back to the other side. Get as close into your body as you can with that bottom hand because it works what will become your six pack or in my case a modified one pack. All right, see how that goes? Just scoop down low. Again, you want to go about 10 repetitions. This really helps. You're doing this pretty soon after you do those crunches. It kind of steps in and helps intensify that aspect of the workout. All right, and as you're doing this, you're, you're, you're using that kind of, if you've ever done isometrics, this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, that's what you're doing with this. You're using your the tenseness of one side of your body and, and relaxing the other side simultaneously while you're doing it. So here we go. We only have three more exercise, six more exercises to go. Two more sets of three. And we, again, we're doing them to each side. For the most case, you'll see that's what we do. So your hands are kind of holding a circle, a ball, softball, soccer ball, whatever kind. And so go back out, the same thing we were doing before, and break your arms apart like this, all the way back while you're leaning forward, and then all the way up to the top, and repeat. And then you can do various things with your hands, like put them out to your side like this. It works different muscles. Just follow this pattern. Wisdom, our transport, when Jesus we see. Alright, alright, let's go to the other side. Okay, so again, got your soccer ball or softball, just kind of step out. Alright, bringing your weight down on your right foot, break your arms apart, come back, keep your torso vertical all the way back Again, we're trying to do 10 to each side you start hearing your bones crack a little bit don't worry about that just make sure when you're doing this that you've got that knee going over your toe you're not going to the side you don't want to hurt your leg I've had surgery on both my knees and They've gotten stronger doing this. Now another little thing you can do if you have stairs in your house, I know a lot of times we grab on the rails to pull ourselves, try to discipline yourself not to do that. Take one step at a time, it'll work these abdominal muscles and strengthen your core while you're going up and down the stairs. All right, the next one. Your hands are like this, out to the side. Make sure your body's erect, your shoulders are back. Step into this, scoop down low. Almost hug yourself. Come up. Take a deep breath. 
the outside hand kind of goes to the top. Hug yourself, come up. Almost makes me think of the cross. If you're a Christian, you know Jesus died on the cross for your sins. All of them. If you're not, well, definitely worth investigating. Thing in my phone, if you give me just one second, make sure it's not my beautiful wife. And it's not, so we're good. Let's get back to this. I almost thought I had to start all over again. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to the opposite side. Again, relax stance. Your, your lower body is really relaxed. You're kind of halfway sitting into this stance that you're in. Hands to your side. Step out like this. Outside arm over top. Hug yourself. You'll feel your abdominal muscles tighten. That's a good thing. Like in PE or phys ed or gym class, whatever you called it when you were in high school, we play with a lot of balls here. So we're doing we're doing another one. This one's about basketball size, or it could be smaller. So you're st we're going to be going side to side. Again, your toes going out over your knee, so you're not hurting your leg while you're doing this. But you're strengthening your thigh muscles. This is really good. Your inside and your outside thigh muscles. It helps as you're walking and running. Some people find walking to be a good thing and. If for some reason you can't, even if you can't walk, you can do the exercises for the top of your body with this. I've worked with people who aren't able to walk. And part of the reason I got into this was because there wasn't physical therapy and stuff out here and I thought, well, you know, it would be an extra added benefit. So get the ball. So we're gonna go off to the side. We're gonna turn that ball around in our hands. We're gonna go over as far as we can as far as we can to the other side. You're just turning the ball over and over. You're working with your coordination too on this, which is really good if you have challenges with your balance. You're working that out. All right, try and get those hands in close like I just did right now. That really helps strengthen your abdominal muscles. And if you decide you want to go fast, you can go really fast or Slow. I like slow, especially with the music. Just kind of dancing with the Holy Spirit here. All right, there we go. Push that bottom hand up. You'll feel that across your abdominals. All right, that's enough for that. So we have three more, three more exercises, and then we're done. I don't know where we are on time. So yes, 28 minutes and 54 seconds. So we're getting done. Usually it takes me about 40 to 45, but we're kind of abbreviating it a little bit doing all the stuff that I usually do so here's the last one I really kind of like this last set it's a combination of some of the martial arts I've learned uh, and a little bit of boxing too you'll see that as we get into it all right uh, so hands up like this in that relaxed stance what you're really doing here is when they when they're training you're being attacked by people on both sides so what you're doing is you're blocking but what we're doing it for is to really stretch out extend our shoulders Jesus is the Christ, and God. our chest the loves the Father, and loves work our muscles I got somebody calling that's my phone ringing by the way and uh, I'll just let that ring through and we'll finish this. All right, so here we are. Thank you for tolerating that. All right, so let's go back into this. 
lean over, you're strengthening your legs. See how many times you're working your legs through this? You want to go out as far as you can. If you can only do this, that's okay. Go out as far as you can. Perfect. Like that. Just push out, stretch it as far as you can. Now don't hurt yourself. And you're going to, by the way, if you haven't been working out for a while, expect to be sore for two or three days. Maybe I should have told you that in the beginning. So you want to do 10 on that side and then we're going to do the same on the opposite side after I have a drink of water. So we're, you're looking at an hour and a half to two, two and a, two hours a week commitment plus whatever walking you do and I recommend you walk a mile in about 20 minutes. It's a good cardiac workout. You can do it around your home outside, but be focused about it. All right, so I'm going to go off to the opposite side. All right, see? Now here's something you can do. See what I just did with my hands? All right, I'm stretching some additional muscles by doing that. Just kind of subtle. I was going like this, and now I put my hands out more like my palms stretching out. That works your back muscles too. And as you play with this, you'll find that out. All right, so this is the next one, and we're punching. Now, if you were in an actual fight or a match, um, you wouldn't be doing it this way, but we're doing this so that we're, we're working our core, we're stretching, we're, count, we're pulling against the stretches, trying to use our body with and for our body. So our hands are up like this when you're getting ready to throw a punch. You step out. Throw the punch. See what I'm doing? Same thing we've been doing with our legs. All right. And when you lean forward into that punch, when you're actually in a fight, that's putting your body weight behind the punch. And you're actually connecting with those first two knuckles. All right. So you want to do that about 10 times on every side, and each side. You're only two-sided, I guess. You have two hands. Unless you have different body construction than me. Or most human beings. Not counting accidents that unfortunately happen with birth defects. Alright, see that? Very slow motion. I'm twisting my punch as I throw it. Twist it back when I tuck it to my side. Again, we're going to do about 10 on each side. It wasn't 10, I'm sure, but close. This last one, it reminds me <coughs> of when I was uh, taking high school and college sports. They constantly talked to us about ballet and, and how ballet was really good for balance and things like that. And I, and I never took ballet, but one of the things that I saw in some of the forms in martial arts was that same slow and de deliberate delivery of, of body motion. So that's kind of what this is. So you take your hands are positioned like this. You lean all the way over to one side, stretch out. And then your hands are kind of coming, waving one on top of the other, back and forth like this. And you get into doing this for a while. It's a nice relaxation. It's a nice way to slow down after your workout. You can even deliberately slow it down, which when you take time to go slowly like that and you're holding your position slowly in the transition of the muscles, transition of your stance, those muscles become stronger. So you're going to want to do this about 10 times. Sometimes, honestly, when I'm doing it, this part of the workout, I, I'm relaxing count. Just think about how you can extend grace into the movement and how that gives you more balance, more range of motion, and greater core strength. Thank you for this time that we've had together and um, I just I want to say this. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I went through colon cancer. 
And uh, the day after surgery, of course, they get you out of bed. And they said, Mr. Logan, we need you to get out of bed and walk a little bit. Well, I, I walked 8,800 steps by the grace of God the day after I had, and I'm gonna show you my scar, but uh, they took a chunk of my intestine out. <coughs> and this whole little workout, not the push-ups and weights and stuff, but I had my little IV thing next to me and I couldn't do all of the range of motion, but I did my best to go through this every day a little bit while I was recovering. And while I was going through chemotherapy and while I was going through radiation. One of the greatest gifts that God gives us is the ability to choose. And then when we make the right decisions, if we'll trust Him and, and look into ourselves, we'll find the self-discipline that it takes to not only not be sick, but to be well. Because the Spirit of God can provide for your healing. If you need healing today, um, I'm just going to believe for your healing. That's what I did, and God healed me. Yes, He used doctors, but He healed me. I know that. And, and I have a responsibility for that gift, and that is to take care of what He's given me. So I want to encourage you today, whatever age you are, whatever physical condition you're in, I was 140 pounds heavier, and 145 pounds heavier than I am right now. And, and I, I don't get off into this body shaming thing. You know, you are who you are, but if you want to live a long life and, in, and enjoy all that there is, you have to discipline yourself a little bit. And I'm going to stop preaching because that's one of my other jobs. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for taking time with me. Be healthy. And I just want to add this because my boss would have me to add it. You must be born again. God bless you.